What's up, guys? Have this uh, HRX217 in for uh, service. Um, just did a regular tune-up, but uh, the issue with this one is uh, is an oil leak that's pooling up here on the front of the uh, the engine. I had this all cleaned off to see where it was coming from. Um, this is the GCV190, and uh, I I thought I had it figured out. I thought it was just the valve cover here. Uh, I cleaned that whole thing up. I used um, Permatex um, to seal that up, and I was still getting an oil leak. Um, it's actually coming from right underneath and I can feel it right around this cam uh, out, output shaft thing here. You can see it on my finger here. So uh, what happens is there's an O-ring that seals this guy up and that O-ring uh, hardens and swells and, and eventually, um, you know, with the heat and stuff, starts to leak out of there. So you'll get a lot of pooling underneath here in the, in the bottom half. So I'm going to show you how to get that little shaft out of here. We'll put the, the new O-ring on. I'll show you what the part number is and then we'll seal this all back up and uh, get it get it back on easiest thing to do is get the the pull starter off get the cover off you can get in here to get this valve cover off sometimes it's hard sometimes you can just grab a hold of this valve cover and pull but it'll bend a lot on you um, i usually try to get a little bit of like a flat screwdriver in behind here and i'm able to pry it forward a little bit and then i can get this guy to pop off so let's get this uh, little shaft out of here we don't want to go all the way out we want to send it, we get out far enough where it stays we don't want to screw up any of the timing here with the the timing belt or anything we're just going to get it pop it out replace the o-ring put it right back in if you notice i have the lower propped up on the, the handle pulled down to the ground so the front ends up in here that way i'm not going to lose a whole bunch of oil out of this cover valve cover as soon as i open this up otherwise it's going to pour all over the place so if you tilt it back leave it there for five ten minutes enough oil will drain out of here that you're not going to get a lot of loss so right in here is the top of this pin that hold that the camshaft rides on we're going to push down on that You'll see it pop out the bottom just like that. Now, we don't got to get it all the way out. We just got to get it down far enough that we can get this O-ring off. You can feel all the oil oil that's gotten below that, that O-ring. So we're going to come in here with the little pick again. Kind of hard to see with my finger here, but we're going to get below that guy and then work it around. And then there we go. Yeah, you can feel this guy's getting pretty hard. You guys are getting kind of hard. So here's the new one. That's your part number 91301-ZM0-V31. Okay, my new O-ring. Um, you can probably try to mismatch this with like one of those O-ring kits, but uh, I'm not going to risk it. I don't want to get something in there too small or too big and this thing come back with another oil leak and waste my time to save $6. So I ordered the, the correct one up and we're going to uh, put this one back on right now. So now we're just going to reverse the order. We've got our O-ring. Slide it over top of this little shaft at the bottom. Nice and easy. Try not to lose it. So get it over the little lip at the bottom like that. And then we're just going to work it around the front. There we go. Okay. Now we just got to Grab a hold of that shaft and hopefully everything's still in place. There we go, and should click into place right there. That should do the trick. Um, I won't know until I uh, run a heat cycle through it, make sure the, the oil level's topped off, but um, that should hold, that should clean. I'm gonna clean this all off. I'll let it sit, I'll let it run. I'll let it sit for a couple hours and I'm gonna come under here again and see if it's on my finger. So I'm gonna clean this all up. And if it is, if it's dry, then we know we got the problem. But before I do all that, I'm going to go around and get all this gasket maker on that I just, you know, just did and do that all over again. You know, that's sometimes I just kind of, you know, you think you know the problem and you just go and do it. And it turns out uh, that wasn't the problem at all. So got to redo this gasket again so we don't have a leak here. And then we'll be able to test this out. All right. Got that cleaned up decently. It's uh, not perfect, but it's it's good. Like there's just a little bit here and there. You can actually don't even feel anything. It's just you know stained a little bit. But uh, I also cleaned up the inner lip here of the valve cover. Um, I'm gonna use some. You now you could probably at home if you're doing this by yourself in your own machine, you might be able to just re-put this back on. It sh it could seal up on its own, but I don't want this thing uh, coming back. So I'm going to. You know, do this all over again with the gasket. I'm just going to put a thin layer on this, a thin layer with my finger on this, 
and uh, tighten it down. Don't over tighten it because you can strip out these bolts, um, but probably going to be around 10 foot pounds, somewhere around there, but use common sense. So let me put that on real quick and then I'll uh, button it up and we'll put, I'll put everything back on and then I'll see if there's a leak underneath there. You do want to make sure you get all all the surfaces clean with uh, some like brake cleaner. You don't want any um, oil residue on there. So I'm just giving it just like a little bit of a back coating. So it mates to the cover. It's okay if you get it down in these holes a little bit. The bolts aren't going to stick in there. And I'm going to do the same thing to the surface here. Fill in these little ridges. Make sure you got just like a, at least a thin layer over the entire surface here. Um, doesn't have to be a lot. Doesn't matter if it's in the little holes here, but just uh, it even doesn't even matter if it like kind of lips over the edge a little bit. It's okay. That should be enough, I think, to uh, get a good seal. Make sure you're that if you when you peel this off, this gets bent that you straighten it pretty good. Got our four bolts back in. I'm just going to snug them with my impact. I'm going to set my torque wrench to about 10 foot pounds. Again, just use common sense if you don't have one of these, it's not a big deal. Okay, at this point, I can put the machine back on its on its bottom end, and we'll put the cover back on. I like to add a little bit of uh, anti-seize to these bolts. Otherwise, uh, a lot of times when you go to take these out, the, the nuts off, it'll pull the whole um, shaft off. We don't want to do that. And you also don't want to over-tighten these guys either. All right, I'm going to start and run this and then uh, I'll give it a few minutes. I'll give it about 15, 20 minutes. I'm going to put the deck back on its uh, regular setting. We'll set it outside and make sure it's clean underneath and we'll see if it uh, still leaks. All right, ran it, ran a little while and uh, let it sit overnight and uh, checking it now. And I'm pretty dry. All right, nothing there. So uh, that was the problem. Um, Got any questions, hit me up in the comments. I'll put a link to the uh, that O-ring if you want it. And uh, you can check out some of my other material here and uh, my channel there, and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.